Hello good day viewers, still on trigonometry, I'm going to take my time to drive all the important trigonometric identities starting with Pythagorean identities. So if you are new here, consider subscribing, press the bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new content and don't forget to share to your learning colleagues, don't forget to like and comment on this video as well. Let's get started. Um, this is a right angle triangle, right? We are going to write down all the six trigonometric ratios, starting with sine of this angle theta. So we have sine theta. Remember, it is opposite divided by the hypotenuse, right? This is the opposite. This is the hypotenuse. So we have y divided by r. Um, I think, let me go to the reciprocal, which is cosecant. That is cosec theta, which is what the reciprocal of sine. So just take reciprocal of this, which is r divided by y. This is the first two. Then we have cosine. Cosine theta is adjacent divided by the hypotenuse, x divided by r. x divided by r, its reciprocal is secant, which is r divided by x right then we go to tangent tangent theta mm, you know we can write tangent as what sine divided by cosine all the same sine divided by cosine uh it's what you can ever take sine and divide by cosine or you take adjacent or opposite divided by the adjacent opposite divided by the adjacent which is uh y divided by x so it reciprocal, which is cotangent, let me write it here, cotangent theta. Remember, it is ever, you say that cosine theta divided by sine theta, or you can simply take reciprocal of tangent. You see, if you take reciprocal of tangent, it will give us cotangent, which is cosine over sine or x over y. So we have x divide by y here so i think we have the six trigonometric ratios right one two three four five and six next uh let us write uh, the pythagorean theorem which stated that the hypotenuse squared is equal to opposite squared that is y squared plus the adjacent squared which is x squared this is a very important equation. So we are going to divide every single term by one of these variables. Let me start with r squared. So if we divide every single term by r squared, we have r squared divided by r squared is one. Then we have y squared divided by r squared according to one of the laws of indices. Since they have the same exponent, you can write the basis and assign a single exponent. So we have, um, y divided by r whole squared then plus x divided by r whole squared all right um, you can see that this is one or you can even write it to the right hand side let me start with y divided by r y divided by r you can see that here which is sine of theta so we can see that sine of theta but you can see this is to the power of 2 is the same thing as sine of theta squared which is sine squared theta do not write the power on the theta ra rather in between n and theta so sine squared theta plus x divided by r let us find it x divided by r is here which is what cosine of theta so we have cosine because of the power of 2 we have squared here equal to 1 so this is one of the important identities we have that is pythagorean identities so let me box it here so this is one of the important identities now we are going to drive another one let us divide every single term here by sine squared theta so we have sine squared theta divided by sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta divide by sine squared theta equal to 1 divided by sine squared theta 
So we have divided every single term by sine squared theta. You can see that sine squared theta divided by sine squared theta will give us 1. Right? Plus. Cosine divided by sine. Where do we have cosine divided by sine? Cosine divided by sine is here. Which is the same thing as cotangent. But because this has a power of 2, we have cotangent squared theta will give us this one. So this is cotangent squared theta. Then to the other side, what is 1 divided by sine squared theta? This is a reciprocal of sine. This is sine. This is reciprocal of sine. That is 1 over sine will give us yeah, this is 1 over psi, right? Cosecant. So this is cosecant squared. Cosec squared theta. So this is another important identity. We have another one. And the last one, we are going to divide still this one, the first identity, by cosine squared theta. So we have sine square theta divided by cosine square theta plus cosine square theta divided by cosine square theta equal to 1 divided by cosine square theta. We have divided every single term by cosine square theta. What is sine over cosine? Sine over cosine is tangent. But well, because of that power, we have tangent squared theta plus 1 because they are the same right this is 1 1 over cosine is a reciprocal of cosine this is cosine this is its reciprocal this is secant theta so this is secant squared theta so this is another identity so these are the three Pythagorean identities we have why am I deriving all of this because subsequently when we get to Solving problems related to trigonometric equations, once you encounter this one, you know that whenever you have sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta, that will give us 1. And um, if you have 1 plus cotangent squared theta, it will be equal to cosec squared theta. And you can even uh, bring this one in and take this one to the other side. Or you can say that cosecant squared theta minus cotangent squared theta equal to 1. This is just an identity which you can play around with. You can make this one the subject, or this one, or even one. So in our next class, we are going to talk about uh, the complementary angles and derive the identities from those complementary angles. Bye-bye.